Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm back with, this time, on Forza Horizon 4, I'm back with the Ford Mustang. Now, this is absolutely beautiful. Like I said in yesterday's video when I ended up messing around with the Hot Wheels Mustang, if you guys haven't seen that, they added a Hot Wheels Mustang into this game. Go ahead and check out that video. It is absolutely brilliant. I'll show you how to get it pretty much in that video. So if you want to see it, if you want to go ahead and try to get it for yourselves, then feel free to to check that video out. But today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at a couple of the new cars that came out with this week's car pass or this week's DLC with the season change pretty much. So one of them being this Mustang Fastback, which is absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with this car. It's it's so good looking. There's everything about it is just so, so nice looking. I've always loved the Fastback Mustang and it's, um, it's finally in the game and we get to drive it and I get to see what it's like. So what my plan was for this thing is to get it to slide a little bit, but I'm not going to go ahead and give it like a lot of horsepower. I'm not going to go ahead and engine swap it. I'm not going to give it like a huge amount of horsepower. I'm going to go ahead and increase the horsepower slightly. I'm also going to try to keep it looking as close to stock as possible. Um, now, the reason why I say I want to raise the horsepower, I want to increase the horsepower a little bit is because in this game, obviously cars that, that are old especially, as you can see, they are fairly slow compared to some of the newer muscle cars and of course that doesn't mean that this is incredibly slow as a car itself or that old cars are slow it's just that obviously in this game you're used to driving stupid thousand horsepower cars all the time and driving a car like this it's it's kind of a oh god it's different let's just put it that way it's different the tires are incredibly thin on this thing let's try to get the sick over steer a little bit ever so slightly it's like lacking so much power you can't get it over here though if you go a little bit too fast to the corner and then put the power down especially on the way out it will it will end up oversteering but obviously as you can see it's struggling to get those rear wheels to spin so that's what I mean like I want to get a little bit more power into it also this thing you go to a corner you start braking shift that weight because the, the suspension of this thing is so soft Shifting that weight around is just so much fun. In a car like this. I absolutely love this Mustang. It's so, so pretty. It's so good looking. There we go. Just shifting the weight with the brakes. Getting it to oversteer. Look at that. Beautiful slide all the way. I had my foot or my finger, I guess, planted all the way there. There you go. That is fun. Alright, that's what I kind of want to do. I want to go ahead and give this a little bit more power. Um, because it is kind of lacking a little bit. So, um, I do think I'm also going to try and maybe put drift suspension on it. I want to see how much of a difference that actually makes. Obviously, I'll put drift suspension on it because I want that extra angle. But I don't think I'll end up doing anything else to this thing. I also will, however, go ahead and change. Because I can do this, right? And lower it a little bit, put race springs on it. So, the only thing I don't like about this is the excessive camber. I want to see how much of a difference it makes if I just put this on, but then just remove the camber, because it'll still have the extra, like, steering angle uh, without the uh, without the whole thing. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and turbocharge it or supercharge it. Uh, right now, stock, this thing makes 325 horsepower, so you can see why I wanted to sort of give this thing a little bit more power. So, I think I'm just going to do the... Uh, I'm just going to upgrade the stock internals. That's pretty much it. I'm just going to upgrade all the stock internals, the race spec, and then just have that little bit of extra power there. And hopefully it's enough to be able to spin my rear wheels. This will also make it a lot lighter um, than before. So 526, 541, 547 horsepower. And then we'll upgrade the flywheel as well and get this thing to be even lighter. So 547 horsepower, 1,557 kilos. It's not too bad. I'll keep it on the... Um, actually, you know what? I kind of want to go ahead and upgrade the tires just ever so slightly. But I don't think it'll work too well now since I... Ended up increasing the power, but if I'm going to go ahead and increase the tires, or like improve the tires, I don't know how well this is going to work. I'll put street tires on it. I'll put street tires on it, and then I'll see what it's like. Um, uh, it's on 180s on the front, and 180s on the rear. Okay, so now, the only thing I really want to try to do is, I want to get rid of the, uh, the camber, because it just doesn't look good on a classic car like this. So, I just wanted to have that little bit of extra steering angle. And that's pretty much it. So, I'll... Keep a little bit of camera, maybe 1.5 in the front and maybe 0.5 in the rear. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll keep it like that and then we'll see. And uh, I think what I want to do is I kind of want to lock the diff as well. So let's just go ahead and buy that. That is just an extra bit that I should try and do here. And uh, 
just so I can be able to pretty much lock the diff completely. So yeah, that's it. That's all I kind of want to do to this thing, and then I want to drive it because it is like I don't really want to do much to this thing. I think what I'll do though, because the second car that we're gonna end up taking a look at in today's video is gonna be a Ford Transit. I want to have a look and see if I could do uh, anything to that. I want to go ahead and try give it as much power as possible. Just do loads of stupid things. I think it'll be so much fun to try that with the uh, with the Transit, just because it's like a weird, like it's just a weird car to do uh, stuff to, you know. Okay, so rear wheels seem to be a little bit more lively. It's definitely faster. Okay. Stance hasn't changed too much, so that's good. Alright, let's see what what it's like. Okay, much better for grip. Much, much better than the standard tires. What's even on street tires? Much, much better. Alright, and then it's faster as well, of course. So. There it is. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to power slide this thing out of corners. Just using weight transfer. No e-brake, nothing like that. I don't even want a lot of angle. I just want to be able to power slide this thing everywhere. What a car. I have been told before, I have been requested by people to like not do like full full blown builds on some of these cars and just go ahead and mess around with them stock or mess around with them just slightly modified and don't just constantly keep giving them a thousand horsepower or whatever, which uh, I agree. I'm gonna try to do that a lot more often now because it's just so much more fun to drive cars that are in, in their like natural state. Oh, it's so fun to drive, man. It's so smooth. I have just full control over this car all the time. It's so much better now as well, with just that little bit of extra power. Oh, this is great. This is really, really good. God, this is lovely to drive. I honestly just want to keep driving this. I really want to keep driving this. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see what sort of uh, modification uh, options we can actually do to this thing visually, just so I can show you guys what it's like. Um, but I'm not going to go ahead and, and put them on or anything like that. But uh, yeah, after that, I'll take out the transit and I'll mess around with that. And I want to see what we can do to that. And I think with that car, I'll go ahead and I'll just give it the beans and just give it as much power as possible. I want to see what sort of engine swaps and things we can do to that. Um, but yeah, I think just so you guys can see, uh, maybe you guys don't have this car or whatever. Maybe just so you guys can see, I'll show you guys pretty much everything that you can do to this car. Even though I should have shown you while I was still in the garage, if that makes sense. But yeah, anyway, I'll show you guys now. And uh, I'll move on after. So, if I was going to engine swap this thing, we can engine swap it with, a lot, with lots of different engines. RB, uh, we have a Viper V10, we have a 7 liter V8, 6.5 V12, racing V8 as well. We have this 5.2 V8 as well, so... We have a couple of different ones. Obviously, we can change to uh, all-wheel drive if we really wanted to, and then twin turbo it and do all that. Um, as for the, uh, okay, we can actually do some some things to this thing other than just the Forza parts. Okay, that actually doesn't even look that bad, to be completely honest. That looks terrible because it's just the Forza parts. I also don't really want to ruin the rear end of this thing. Okay, cool. And for the side, we can change our chrome out to just normal body paint. Okay, cool. And then for the front, it's just the Forza parts as usual. Uh, again, so as you can see not really a lot of stuff that we could change on this thing, but yeah now Let's take out the transit and let's see if this thing um, Oops clicked on the wrong thing. Let's see if this car Here it is the Ford tri what year is this from again? Was that 1965? This is so cool looking as well It's a 1965 Ford transit How cool is that? Alright, visually, we can't really change a lot of stuff to it. We can just de-chrome it, I guess, and then just put the Forza parts on it, which I really don't want to do um, with this thing. I, I'm going to keep it the way it is now. Obviously, with the newer trans, especially the Forza Edition, we can do some crazy, crazy things to it. Uh, which is probably what I'm going to do to this thing, is just give it as much power as possible and see what it can take. Um, it's still very light. Uh, I think I might go all-wheel drive, just to make it more interesting. All-wheel drive, racing V8 in it... Uh, I don't know what else to do. I kind of want to upgrade the tires, but I don't want to upgrade. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'll upgrade the tires to racing uh, to racing tires on this thing, but I'm not going to upgrade. 
Uh, I really kind of want to upgrade the width. Okay, so wood 75s. Okay, it doesn't go that thick. I, I thought that the tires are actually going to go a lot wider than the, uh, what was it, like 225s in the front. So 225s, 255s. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Because I didn't really want to ruin the aesthetic of this thing uh, fully, but I'm going to go ahead and just give it the bids. Just give it everything. Just throw everything in. I'm not going to change the wheels. I think from the exterior, this is going to be the most stock looking van pot. Oh, we can have just. Okay. We can have drift suspension on this thing. That is very, very interesting. That is very, very interesting. Can this be my new drift van? How funny would that be? All wheel drive. Racing V8. Over a thousand horsepower. Over a thousand three hundred horsepower, I think. With drift suspension. Gear ratio's just pretty much all messed up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stiff or not stiff, I'm sorry, lock the diff pretty much. Acceleration for both of these. Deceleration, sure, I'll do it for the back, I'll leave the front the way it is. And this I'm gonna go ahead and change so it's about 80% of the power going to the rear wheels. And now, let's try and drive this thing. Um, this is gonna be interesting. Gear ratios are very long. I'm doing like 120 miles an hour in third gear. Uh, they're not that long, actually. I thought they were a little bit worse. They're not that bad. Can this thing pull off 200 miles per hour? Okay, it's actually got kind of alright grip on it. I mean, it's got race tires on it, but it's still a van. At the end of the day, all wheel drive though makes this thing. Oh god, makes this thing really, really stable. A lot more stable. Especially with all that power behind it. This is fun. This is really, really interesting. You know what I'm tempted to do with this thing? I'm tempted to take it on the Fortune Island and uh, see how many points I can squeeze on the needle climb. I'm gonna stick on uh, my simulation steering as well, just to see, and then we'll we'll go from there. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. We have a drift van, a drift Ford Transit. I think that the Ford Transit, the uh, the newer one, like the Forza edition of that version, is like actually legit, like legitimately good to drift. So this being pretty much an older sibling, uh, I want to see, <laughs> I want to see what sort of uh, um, points we can squeeze out with this thing. This is dumb. This is really dumb that this actually isn't the game where we could put drift suspension on. I honestly didn't expect that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much uh, make my gear issues a little bit closer. So we'll do something like that. And uh, simulation steering. Simulation steering. That's what I was forgetting. Uh, so difficulty settings, if you do that, and go back to simulation. And uh, let's try this. Look at the amount of steering angle this thing has. All right. Let's see. Maybe there's like a huge difference there between normal steering and simulation steering for this thing. What should be like an absolute monster? Okay, I want more power to the rear. I want more power to the rear. The front pulls in way too much. Let's make this maybe like 90... 95. Let's do that. Even though we'll have like a little bit of power going to the front wheels. Oh, I actually do have the power. I, I thought I didn't have the power there for a second, so... Oh my god, for... Okay, let's just reset this all over again. I'm I'm kind of figuring it out that it actually, dro like, actually drives really well. I thought that for a second there, it just didn't have the power to pull myself all the way through that corner. But it did. And I started using my handbrake when I just didn't need to. I just obviously didn't expect this thing to be the way it is. Alright, let's try this again. Throw it in nice and hard. Straightening up. Oh, 
Wow, fourth gear has the power as well. Even fourth gear has power in it. Oh my god, the angle. Okay, again, I'm very, very slow. Very, very slowly finding out that this thing is an absolute monster to drift. I think I should change my gear ratios a little bit further back. I made them a little bit too short. Well, third gear anyway. It's a little bit too short, I think. This thing is unreal. What the hell? Oh my god, look at that angle. What just happened? Oh my god, I can hold some ridiculous angle with this thing. Honestly, I may just fully change this back to rear wheel drive. Oh, I was actually looking forward to getting like 500,000 points with this thing. What a car, like van, I was about to call it a car. What an absolute beast. I did not expect that whatsoever with this car. Oh god, I went a little bit too fast, but it's fine. I'm still held, oh, I still held on to it. I can't believe how smooth this car actually is to drive, van, whatever. And the points, you just get so many points with it. This is a joke. Oh, I've lost it. I've lost it. It's fine. Cut it back on again. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I was actually hoping... That's terrible. I, I can't believe I, how badly I decided to just end this whole run after I've done such a good job of being composed and keeping it all together. No, I'm fully on the grass as well, not getting any points. Oh god, I've ruined it. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I would have gotten 500,000 points there if I didn't mess it up at the end. I can't believe how good this thing is to drive. That's sick. If you guys want to try it out for yourselves, just please get it. Please get it and try it. Let me know what you guys think of, uh, of this thing. It's, it's a proper drift van. It is a proper, proper drift van and it drives really, really well. It sounds good too. And it's a proper sleeper. I like it. I like it. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I don't really have anything else to say. Share this video if you liked it, I guess, and give it a like. Um, but yeah, see you guys tomorrow, I guess, with uh, another video. Goodbye.